welcome back to another grilling video and today we're going to be smoking a whole chicken. These are really simple to do. It starts with nothing more than a three to four pound whole chicken. Uh, be sure you remove any of the giblets if they're in there. Um, I trimmed a little bit of the neck off as well as the tail and any excess skin. Uh, we're now just going to go ahead and I'd like to tuck the wings underneath themselves a little bit like this. If you kind of look at it here, you just take the wing, fold it and tuck. That kind of gives it a nice bit of presentation there. Uh, some people will tie the legs up, but I want them to sit out like this because I want it to um, kind of be a little bit more open instead of closed up like this and have it take longer to cook right there. So now what we're going to do is just pat this dry a little bit. Now I'm not going to use a binder before I season this, but you certainly could if that's sort of your preferred method. I'm doing this nice and simple, a simple rub salt, pepper, chili powder, you know, use your favorite rub. Salt, pepper, garlic is always really good. Um, but get a little bit of this inside here. Again, you notice I'm patting, I'm not rubbing. I don't want to get paper towel all over this. So while I've been prepping this chicken, I went ahead and started up the smoker. I have it at about 350 degrees. If you're doing it on a grass gas grill, you want to do indirect heat, do it kind of medium to medium high offset heat, and that should get you about 350 degrees. If you don't have some kind of a thermometer on the top of the grill, well worth having one. Uh, maintaining that temperature at something fairly close to that is really a good idea. It doesn't have to be exact, but having it like that helps. All right, so we're just gonna use sort of our favorite rub here. Um, and I wouldn't even say this is my favorite, it just happens to be the one I grabbed. This is Big Texan Rub, whatever. Start from a little bit up here. I don't wanna go too crazy on this, but I wanna get a nice coating on the whole thing. And we're just gonna continue here, shaking our rub on, not too much but a nice dusting all over the whole thing. Help give it some nice color here too. I'm just pat it a little bit so it sticks before I turn it over and do the same on the backside. I like to get all sides of this, so I'm going to turn it on its side here, move my wing back a little bit, sprinkle up top here as well, I'll do the same on the other side. See a rogue feather, we're getting rid of that. Alright, so this really is as simple as just taking this chicken and we're going to set it right down here on our grate, just like that. Now I'm going to go a little bit off to the side because my heat is directly right here, and I just don't want to get it too burned right there. But close this up, come back and check on it in a little while. This should take somewhere between 40 minutes and an hour, just sort of depending on your temperature. And again, we always probe test to make sure we're done. We want to take it off at about 160 to 162. It'll continue to heat up above 165, which is where you want chicken. Now, we're likely going to be using this to make a delicious smoked chicken pot pie. So it's going to be perfect for shredding when we get done and also eating just as a rotisserie chicken. Uh, I am going to come out in about 20 minutes and I want to rotate this around to the other side of the grill. Because the firebox has fire directly in the center and I'm offset a little bit, the right side of that chicken is going to have more heat. So by rotating it around and moving it to the, actually just rotating it to the other side, I'll then expose the other side of the chicken to that equal amount of heat, hopefully avoiding any hot spots or dried parts of it. So we'll come back in about 15 minutes and check on this. So we're right at about 45 minutes. Let's go ahead and open this up. We'll probe temp it, see how it is. All right, we are at about 165 on one side of it. And what's interesting is deep in the breast on the right-hand side, we're at about 152. So I went ahead and moved it over to the far left-hand side of the grill, so it's gonna be the hotter side on the right. Um, we'll let it go for about another five to eight minutes, and then we'll go ahead and pull this off, put it on a rack, and we're gonna let it cool before we begin to pull this chicken apart. All right, so I just finished probing this and we're at about 165 to 170 in that spot that I was talking about before. Didn't get a good even cook all the way around, but I can tell it's really juicy because I can see it running out the side. So let's just go ahead and get this picked up, put right on a little tray here. And we'll come right over here and put it on the table. 
We're just so as you can see, this has a beautiful color on it, um, but it is dark on the bottom side. And that's okay because we're going to cut this thing up into some pieces, and then we're ultimately going to end up pulling this because we're going to be making a wonderful smoked chicken pot pie recipe in a future video. But this is cooled off for a few minutes here, and let's just begin to uh, separate this a bit. Over here. Yeah, right here. Hey, do me a favor. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more like it, subscribe to the channel and click on that little bell notification so you get notified of new videos. Thanks. You can just find that spot between the two uh, bones, the knuckle, if you will, and then just slice it right off of there. Now, here's what I like to do when I'm about to get the thigh off of here. I just cut the skin a little bit here. And we want to get right down in here. Just like before, we want to find that bone there. is. Slice that right off of there. Look at that. Delicious piece of thigh meat. Let's take a look here how good this is. Look at that. That just looks phenomenal. That piece right up here, we'll give that a try in a minute. Just like that, it's time to try this. Oh man, that is some kind of good. Seasoning on the outside of the skin is crispy, absolutely delicious. And now I have enough to cut this other side of the breast off of here, and I'll use this to pull the chicken apart. We'll use it for some other recipes, and then I'm gonna use the carcass and actually make myself some good chicken stock for later. Let's go ahead and get this going here. By seasoning inside the cavity too, we got a lot of that flavor infused into that breast meat. That was a piece that didn't have any skin on it. Absolutely delicious on the flavor inside. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Please do subscribe, like the video, and check out all the other ones we have on the Pit Boss Pro Series Smoker. Bye y'all, safe and happy grilling.